Tesla Model S CPO used long-term test review. First report, we add a used Tesla Model S to our fleet to see what it's actually like to live with a Tesla every day. First report, 31,000 miles. There's a lot to get your head around when you're a Tesla owner, not least the groundbreaking array of technology fitted to every car. But if, like us, you take delivery of a certified pre-owned Tesla, there's something else that's a bit unusual for used car buyers, our near two-year-old Model S is better today than when it first left the showroom. When the first owners took delivery, their rear-wheel drive 85kWh car was at the cutting edge of tech. As well as traffic-aware cruise control and forward collision warning, it had auto high beam and a smart reversing camera. However six months later, an over-the-air software update added Tesla's now famous autopilot system, which will not only keep a measured distance from the car in front, but also keep you safely in lane when it's engaged with you in control at all times, obviously. The system will also change lanes for you if it's safe to do so just operate the indicator and the car's cameras and radar will decide when it's safe to move, then do it for you. A few months after that, the car was upgraded again to be able to park itself in perpendicular parking bays, while summon was also added. This lets you move the car out of a tight parking space via Tesla smartphone app without even being in it. I'm looking forward to that one. The updates go some way to explaining why Tesla residuals are so strong our two-year-old car cost £59,800 with 31,000 miles on the clock. Knew it was £72,000. Spend £72,000 on pretty much anything else and it would have lost a whole lot more than £12,000 in a couple of years. You always hope for a special occasion when you collect a new car, and collecting our used Tesla was no different. Our car was hidden under a cover at Tesla's Heathrow Center, where Tesla's Laura Hardy took us through every last aspect of Tesla ownership from the app to the supercharger network, not forgetting the in-depth menus on the car's massive 17-inch touchscreen. With over 1,000 miles covered in the first week, ownership has been painless, as has charging. As long as you think about your journeys before you go and check where charging is available if you need it you'll be absolutely fine. Taking my daughter back to university in Southampton from our home in South Buckinghamshire was a 150-mile round trip. With 175 miles of charge left on the car before we left, the navigation confidently and correctly predicted that we'd return home with plenty of charge left. However, I checked that there were Tesla superchargers near Heathrow and Winchester close to either end of the trip if I needed a last-minute top-up. Superchargers can provide a full charge in around half an hour and free for cars registered before January this year. It takes rather longer for a full charge from my Podpoint home charger, or from the Tesla destination chargers that are dotted elsewhere around the country including the public car park we use at work. From behind the wheel, you'd be hard pushed to know my car was used. Newer cars have a slightly different interior with a center console rather than the yacht floor of my car personally, I'm quite happy with the large storage area of the latter, while quality is still first rate. And although the 85 model I've got has been superseded by the 90 and 100kWh models, you couldn't describe my car as slow it does 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds with that intoxicating instant hit of torque that makes it such fun to drive, and so good at overtaking. My car also does without the air suspension of some models, making the ride a touch firm, but not uncomfortable. Talking of comfort, living with the car you realize how wide it is not that it's unwieldy on the road, but it's a real benefit when it comes to interior space. My three adult-sized kids are comfier in the back of the Tesla than they have been in many large SUVs. The flat floor helps, too. The boot's big with a wide opening, electrically powered tailgate and there's additional storage in what Americans call the frunk or front trunk. Being British, I reckon it should be called the fruit I'll leave you to work out why. Key Specs Model, 2015 Tesla Model S85 On fleet since, February 2017 
Price when bought, £59,800. Mileage, 31,000 miles. Options, Tech Pack with Autopilot, Dual Chargers, Ultra High Fidelity Sound System, Security Package. Trade-in value now, TBC. Any problems, none so far.